am with Farzad Farokhnia, our friend, um, intern, and uh, food, a foodie, famous foodie. Um, he's going to teach us a very delicious recipe today to share with you guys. Farzad, what are you going to teach us? We're going to be doing a black pepper crusted tuna with a black bean and corn salsa. So let's get started. To make the black pepper crusted tuna, we're going to use a little bit of crushed black pepper that I went ahead and crushed beforehand. And we're going to use some lemon to put on the tuna. Um, this is better than using lemon pepper seasoning because the lemon pepper seasoning has a lot of sodium and you don't want that in your body. So we're going to go ahead and just squeeze the lemon over the tunas, tuna steaks. You can find these at any grocery store in the seafood department. Just go ahead and put a little bit on there. And then we're going to go ahead and put them in the black pepper crust. It looks like a lot of black pepper, but it's going to give it a lot of delicious, really good flavor without adding fat. Now we're going to go ahead and cook the tuna steaks. I've got the pan ready. It's on medium high heat and I already sprayed it with a little bit of cooking spray. Whichever one you use is fine with us. As long as you like it, we like it. We're going to put them in. Make sure it's really hot. You want to hear the sizzle. That just shows that everything is searing well and it's going to be really, really good. Stab, twist, and pinch. Very oh, nice. Awesome. And now we're going to dice up the avocados. I'm sure you've seen this done on TV and we're going to show you how to do it again. Go ahead and just make small incisions. Don't pierce through the skin of the avocado. That? All the way through. Yeah. Good job. And then you're going to go the opposite way and do the same thing. And with a spoon, we're going to go in and scoop it out. And when it scoops out, it's already diced and ready to go into your salsa. Go ahead. Oh, this is awesome. And super easy. And super easy. And do the same with the other half of the avocado. And we're using three small avocados. If you've got bigger ones, just use two or one. It depends however much you like. We love avocado. Yeah. They've got lots of protein and... Good fats. Monounsaturated fats, actually. Very good fats. It's good for low-carb diets. Alrighty, and now we're going to go ahead and put the salsa together, and I'm going to let Jessica do all the dumping. Yay! I love doing the dumping. Okay. okay. Now, as you remember from our ingredient rundown, we've got two cans of corn drained and rinsed, two cans of black beans drained and rinsed, two bell peppers, your choice in color adds color and flavor to the salsa. Mm, that's good. One bunch of green onions, diced. And some cilantro. You can add as much or as little as you like. I'm not it's a big all fan. up to you. You can add half of that if you like. Just kidding. It's up to you. Well, <laughs> People like it, but I'm not a big fan. And our avocados that we just diced mm. up. Of course, we have very clean hands. This is our spice mix that has cumin. Cayenne pepper and granulated garlic. Just sprinkle it in there. Quarter cup of olive oil. And a quarter cup of lemon juice. Mm. Now we're going to go ahead and mix it all together. I'll try it. I'm not a very good mixer. Just go from the bottom and move your way up. Slowly and gently so you don't throw stuff all over the place. All right, now let me just add a little bit of salt. You don't want to add too much, maybe like a teaspoon, a little less than a teaspoon, and some fresh ground black pepper. And there you go.
Here's another quick tip for you. Want to get more juice out of a lemon? Go ahead and roll it under your palm on the countertop. And just until it gets a little bit soft, slice it open, and you'll find that you'll get more juice out of every squeeze.